slightly. Our next artist is doing something very intimate, very personal, very beautiful. It is something as she explores some surprises that completely turn her world upside down. She puts into words how exquisitely she's been able to reroute and find a new way of connecting with her present as her past completely gets rewritten. Who are you? Where are you from? Where do you go from here? These are critical questions that Cassandra Allen explores with a delicate beauty. Ladies and gentlemen. Another layer of raw 
visceral, physical comprehension. There's a huge difference between standing on the outside as an ally and being able to put your hand on your chest and know that someone could hate you for something so basic as your physical existence. And there is so little ability to fully emotionally comprehend that until your own body is the object. I will never be able and able to understand how it feels to have an entire lifetime to identify as a Jew. But believe me, I try. I've observed this past year. I recognize what has happened in Pittsburgh. It was not an isolated incident. I recognize that unless you're black in America, you don't fully know what it's like to be black in America. Unless you're gay or lesbian, you don't know what it's like to be gay or lesbian. Unless you're donor conceived like me, you don't know what it's like to be conceived via sperm donor. Unless you're a woman or a breastfeeding mother, you don't know what it's like to be a woman or a breastfeeding mother. Unless you're an immigrant, you don't fully know what it's like to be an immigrant. Unless you're trans, you don't fully know what it's like to be trans. Unless you're disabled, you don't know what it's like to be disabled. And unless you are a Jew, you do not fully know how it feels to be a Jew. Until you have that pounding, ever-present reminder of a fundamental identity within yourself that you have no power to change and for which others want to eradicate it, it's just different for you. We need to listen to those with lived experience about their identity and what they live through. We need to be attuned to hatred, injustice, fear, and bias. I will never know what it feels like to be hated for what some people are hated. I know that. And now I pass all that down to you. I recognize the intergenerational nature of these physical and cultural relationships. I pass on my body and my culture to you. Through motherhood, through being human, I share the resources of my body to nourish your body. I am part culture, the blueprint of my DNA, the journey of my heart to enrich your spirit. I do so in the hopes that you grow up with these memories, feeling comfortable, belonging. Maybe if I engage in this emotional storytelling, if I learn more about Judaism, if I get to know my biological father, if I celebrate the high holidays, if I keep kosher on Passover, if I make you feel like you are truly one with your element of Jewish heritage, if I connect to it, and if I acknowledge that my existence makes me a target because of who I am, can I then claim to be Jewish? Can I be a part of the tree of life, the connection of passing on our bodies and our culture to the next generation? I never knew this beautiful connection could be something that we would have to legitimately fear. May anyone killed in, in hatred be remembered as a blessing.